Hello everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, a game that is going to be a full Let's Play series on the channel. Uh, now, from what I have seen and what I have heard, this is a strategy game where you get to manage your fleet. I mean, you get to build new ships, you engage in turn-based tactical space combat, and all of that just sounds right up my alley. It was also from Slytherin, who... I'm a big fan of, uh, especially ha since they were the ones who also released um, uh, Sanctus Reach, which, as you guys know, I've been playing. I had been playing on the channel for many, many months. It was one of the first games that ever showed up on my channel, and stayed on for quite some time. Now, I went ahead and started up the game earlier just to set the graphics options and play with the sound levels. Now, I am going to leave the music playing just at a lower volume but it will be there because just what little I've played the music like from what little I've played here on the opening screen and from what little I've read about this game the music is supposed to be fantastic and hell the opening like this uh, title screen the music is fantastic so I'm gonna leave that on uh, now the other reason I picked this game is I am a huge fan of space-based strategy games. I don't think there are enough strategy space games. Uh, I loved Homeworld, all the Homeworld games. I, and more recently, I fucking adored Battlefleet Gothic last, yeah, it was last year, right? Yeah, that's when it came out, last year. I loved that game. I wished there was more of it. And sadly, there's the, the spaceship strategy games tend to be a bit few and far between, so I was really glad to see this get released. Also, as a disclaimer, I am only a casual fan of the Battlestar Galactica series. I've only ever seen one, and that was the uh, sci-fi channel one. I didn't watch any of the other, like the movies or the miniseries or the prequel series or the original series. Uh, I just watched the one uh, the remake, the first remake on Battlestar Galactica, hell, what, 10 years ago at this point? Probably more? I don't remember. But, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was 10 years ago, but it was a while now that it's been since it's died, or ended, it didn't die. Really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, when I say I'm a casual fan, I, if this game makes references to characters from the series or ship classes or stuff like that I am only going to maybe catch the references uh, all I do know is the setting for this game uh, throughout the first sci-fi channel series of Battlestar Galactica they kept referencing the first Cylon War and this is a prequel to that series and is about the first Cylon War so that's what we're gonna be jumping into so I'm assuming that what we're going to run into in this game are a bunch of prototypes of the ships both from the colonies and the Cylons. We're going to see prototype versions of the stuff that showed up in the series, or very early versions of them. Alright, so with that, all that being said and knocked out of the way, let's get into it. Uh, Commander, let's go with the standard Battlestar Galactica deadlock experience, because I've never played this game. Cylon forces will match you ship for ship. Sounds fine. After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the Twelve Colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, <laughs> and the lifetimes of our children. Your children have it bad. They Trust could not me. have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. Yeah, no, you're... You guys still don't have it as The bad Jupiter as, like, Project your was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. <laughs> I don't know that those are going to help you all that much. But hey, give it a shot, right? It's an impressive looking ship. I always loved that in the battle in the Battlestar Galactica. The first oh, okay. Galactica 
was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing well, well, two weeks we after deployment. That's what happened to the Galactica. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. What news? <laughs> the Galactica disappeared, or...? Okay. Pycon's capital question. cities were devastated by silent assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. Well, that's a shame. There was no chance to intervene. That is a cool cutscene, though, I gotta say. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. A mobile As shipyard? As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to operations commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Oh, Kane okay. intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. Sure, put me in charge of the whole fleet and... I hope you're going to teach me how to control the whole fleet, because I ain't got a damn clue. Pycon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Okay. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. Sure. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. So I just get to, yeah, just blow the toasters away. Okay. From this table, you will guide the course of Colonial Fleet during the early years of the First Cylon War. The fate of the Twelve Colonies and the future of humanity will be shaped by your actions here. And then it's all for naught because, of, you know, the, all the colonies going to be wiped out not too far in the future. <laughs> Yay. <coughs> But yeah, what I was going to say before that cutscene started, I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene, was yeah, I've always loved the thing about the Battlestar Galactica ships. It's like, they, despite the fact that they have interstellar travel and the like, their weapons are primitive as hell. <laughs> it kind of makes an interesting contrast, I gotta say. Alright, let's... I guess we, well, I guess we just click proceed, huh? Idris is a complex network of databases, sensors, and broadcast relays. It's relay time to make our relays. presence okay. known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Um, okay, WASD to move the camera. Q and E to rotate. Uh, mouse wheel to scroll. And click on a unit's projection to move the unit. Really? That, that's it? Okay, too much yaw will increase engine stress and reduce the unit's maneuverability next turn. Oh, okay. So we can go up and down, and then we can rotate. That's cool, I like that you can go underneath. Uh, most of these space strategy games don't let you do that. You, Everybody's on just a flat, uh, flat plane, and that makes no sense for a space-based game. Hell, that was the same thing with... Um, Battlefleet Gothic, from what I remember. All right. Let's do that. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Um, actually not, but... Uh, no. I want you to face straight towards that. All units resolve their movements simultaneously. Use good spacing to prevent fatal collisions. Oh, that is cool yes, that you Commander. actually have collisions. Combat is divided into command phases and simulation. Uh, it says I have another ship somewhere. I mean, I see the Manticore. Oh, it's the Daedalus. That's, oh, holy shit, that thing is massive. Okay. Well, let's turn you towards this. And I'd like you to come in at a, come in from a different plane. If I'm not mistaken, okay, yeah, you're not going to hit an asteroid or anything. There we go. <clears throat> All right, end turn. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. I like that. Turrets will be less accurate the a smaller nemesis. or further away their target is. I have no idea what a nemesis is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. 
Okay, right click on a unit. Ooh, turrets. Okay, so you shoot straight ahead. Gotcha. Focus fire on the nemesis. But it does look like if I want to hit the nemesis, I need to uh, turn. Yeah, that's what it looks like, is the turret. Yeah, just fore and aft. I think that's the proper term. And I'm actually going to slow you down. And we are going, ooh. Well, they want me to use the turret, so I'll use the turret. Focus fire on the nemesis. Thank you. And turn. There we go. Just shoot that bastard. Good, his front armor is just getting torn apart. Uh, our armor's fine. IFF confirms unit is Sir, hostile. We've got a new Dreadus contact. Okay, what is it now? Another nemesis or what? Now? Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. It's another nemesis, okay. Well, we should probably move to engage. that. Uh, let's write. Um, okay. You won't let me do it again. What the hell? Yeah, that. Once identified, select an enemy to see its data. Okay. These Cylon okay, Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Okay. Let's select it. Fire guided missiles at the nemesis. We good? Yeah, no, exactly that. Fuck. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to cancel. I want to fire that at him. And I want you, no, to fire at him. Yes, Commander. Let's give it a shot. Missiles incoming! Okay, we're gonna take some damage here. But so is it. Uh, it's gonna take some nasty shots, actually. Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Overlooked? Hmm. Repair some. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Uh huh. You are you telling me you gave me some broken ass ships? I gotta say though, I really like. Understood. That um. The game doesn't, um, God, what's the word? I really like that when you, yeah, we're gonna do this, go straight ahead as much as you can. Yeah, I really like that your missiles are not like insta hits, because if you see this, my missiles are about to impact. They've not actually impacted yet. That's really cool to me. You gonna kill this? Oh no, he's still got a lot of armor. Oh, we might though. Subsystem repairs are complete. Okay. Press M to access the tactical map. Cool, cool. All right. We are softening him up, but I kind of want. We're gonna loop around to hit this sucker right here. Yep. To target that. You, however, I am going to have target uh, you. Right? Cancel target. 
focus fire not on him, but on him. And do I have the option to fire more? Nope, launchers are reloading. Okay, end turn. All right, we're gonna get out of there before there is a chance of that. Um, Jesus, that thing is not going down. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and try to rotate. I don't know that we're actually gonna be able to. Oh, our front armor is, has been butchered. Nope. I am actually gonna have you keep our rear armor away Understood. from them. Let's in turn. Manticore is Ow. taking damage. God damn. That bastard just rammed me. Okay. I dislike that asshole. So I'm just gonna launch a salvo at that and in turn. That probably shouldn't have happened, though, I'll be honest. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, I just got my dude rammed. I should not have allowed that. Uh, let's end turn. Those missiles are probably going to finish it. Yep, there it goes. It's a shame that we lost a unit. All hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. I would like to check that out. Our performance sucked, though, let's be honest with that. I actually wasn't expecting to, um... Oh, it's cool. It's a cinematic replay. I like that. It should make for some really interesting battle replays. Shame we lost that ship, though. That's... I hope that doesn't bite us in the ass. I hope it's still just part of the tutorial. Okay, yeah, that, that replay is cool. Ah, uh, proceed, I guess. Yep, we lost the Lancer. That is a damn shame. Colonial Congratulations, okay. Commander. But we still have work to do. Do we? From the strategy index, you can manage your fleets, view mission briefings, and find locations on the table. To access a mission briefing, select it from the strategy index or click on the mission marker. So, chapter two? This? Or this? Oh, right there, yep. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial <coughs> Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government mm. is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. I well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to Pycon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Gotta say, delivering all these ships isn't gonna make a damn bit of difference because, you know, the Cylons have a lot more. Uh, let's see, additional info. The FTL drive for the Jupiter-class Battlestar, Athena, is not yet complete. <clears throat> Cylon cleanup crews are expected at the LZ, but reports show most of the assault fleets have already left the area. Okay, let's head on to PyCon. Select fleet group Daedalus. Okay. And jump. To here. Select PyCon on the map. There we go. Confirm. Uh, jump commands resolve at the end of the turn. Let's do it. That was anticlimactic. I thought we'd actually see a cutscene or something. Click proceed to continue to the next mission. Ah, uh, sure. Let's do it. Can I replace the Lancer, though? Because it kind of sucks that I don't have it. Uh, let's see. Requires the presence of the Daedalus... Daedalus at the mission marker. Click on the unit projections to reposition your fleet during FTL. Uh, to the rear, please. Yep. 
right to the rear. And the Manticore Corvette uh, can go like right in front of it. All right, let's do it. Done. Fleet group is jumping in. I really wish in we had three, more ships. Two, one. I don't know if one ship can handle it. Like, Jump damn. complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. So kill him. No pressure, sir. No <laughs> pressure at all. Oh, we got it. I hope. Oh. Uh, we have the Battlestar with us. Is it actually operational? Damn, you're slow. Understood. Well, let's move forward. Let's enter and see what we find out here. God damn, you were slow. Oh, nope, there's something right here. Oh, that's hard not to be. That's going to be difficult to Ships get used to. Ships are not to. lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Don't get an attitude with me, lady. You ain't told me how to do that. Right-click. Posture. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. I'ma go... I'ma go offensive. Action stations! And... I want you to go this way, because I do not know what this bastard over here is. Uh-oh, what is it? War driver? What the bloody hell's a war driver? Okay. Uh, let's go with you. Posture. I'm going to put you on defense, because I do not know... I can't really focus fire you on anything. And I am going to just slow you down a little bit. Let's let them come within our range here. And turn. Oh, we saw something. IFF confirms unit is hostile. You don't say. Well, Jupiter, I got a job Commander, for you. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Okay, I'll go with you first. I would. Oh, God damn it! Fine, I'll do what you want me to do first. Squadrons, launch all squadrons. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Yes, sir. Um. I'm going to right click on you. I've already told you to launch squadrons. Let's also fire guided missiles, missiles on their way. This. And also turrets. Focus fire. I am going to target the nemesis. I want the nemesis dead. You, on the other hand, I would like you to. Fire guided missiles into the Talon, whatever the hell the Talon is. Turrets, focus fire on the Talon. Uh, and turn, let's see what happens. Are we hurting it? Oh, we are indeed. Oh, we hurt that thing bad. Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Okay, what I want you to do is let's have you select a target and go after the war driver. And let's go with you, select target, and have you go after yes, the sir. same damn thing. And you, uh, what is your firing arc, I should ask? There was a way to check that, right? Oh. Everywhere. <laughs> That's the answer. So we actually can 
turn the ship and still just nail you. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn. Let's do this. Yeah, keep shooting him. Oh, there are some missiles coming. I don't like the missiles. Uh, how's the... That thing is not be is not happy it came within range of us. At all. Okay, do they have any more of those... Uh, do they have any more of those bastards that you were hunting? The war drivers. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm gonna split you guys up and have you each go after a nemesis. Because the Jupiter class should be able to handle the rest of this stuff. And I'm gonna have you turn. On it, Commander. Do you have the capability to fire guy? Nope, not again. Okay, we're gonna have to wait then. All right, move on in. A battle star is being hacked. Uh, we'll work on it. That thing's dead. That thing's gonna try to ram me. At least that's what it looks like. Well, uh, let's. Uh, well, I don't really have a whole lot of choices here, so I am going to. Can I fire guided missiles again? I can. Yes, Commander. And can I focus fire on you? Also, Viper Squadrons, you go after the yes, talent. Yes, sir. And since you can fire missiles now, I'd like you to do such a thing. You're still reloading. Oh, it's hacked, that's why. Uh, I want to put you on a full offensive stature. All right, go. Is this thing trying to kill itself? Like, just... Or it, I think it might just be trying to get behind me. Take it out. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. I would really We've like it. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, <laughs> take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. So or you can rely hmm. on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Oh, piss off, lady. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Okay. Well, let's try to rotate our absolutely glacially slow um <laughs> battle star here. don't think I'm going to be able to fire missiles, but hey, who knows? Uh, son of a... I really wish... Yeah, no, I get it. Flak. I'm going to do a right orientation because I don't want to... Yeah. Can we cancel flak? Because I have fighters in that area. I'd rather not kill my fighters, thank you. Uh, no, we're going after the nemesis. Screw the rest of this. And end turn. This thing should die shortly. Okay, how is this thing going? Oh, the missiles are doing their job, all right. Excellent. Yeah, all, all you guys... On it, Commander. How much damage are you doing with that hack? Repair the armory. Let's yeah. Let's repair the armory. Okay. Let's try to get you turned. And where's our other? No, you. I know it's gonna take you forever to get over here, but let's have you select target. Let's go. Am I even shooting this bastard at this point? Oh no, I'm definitely shooting him. There he goes. Dreadus is cold. Piss off. All hostile contacts are cleared. <laughs> if you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. 
but I want the They've ship. already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Oh, goody. <laughs> Admiral, Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Oh, goody. Malfunctioning. What's our effective jump distance? Nil. It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. Well, that blows. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're Whatever going to need Ragnar's more ships. Clouds are. Sinan's taken up yards one and two for the Jupiter class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars awesome. if we can't defend them. Give me some ships. Build ships. I would be very happy to make a... Okay, we've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. I don't want to use all my money, though. Ah, oh, you rat bastards, Pine. <sighs> your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Somehow I don't think even if I rush money at it, they're going to be able to give me a new Corvette-class ship, like, immediately like that. <laughs> now, one thing I want to check real quick. Let's check the... No, my sound effects are... I'm going to turn them up. I think the reason we weren't getting much uh, gunfire and missile sounds is I wasn't zoomed in, because I can zoom in really far in this game. So we'll have to take a look at that later. Um, Let's see. Select your new Corvette and merge it with Fleet Group Daedalus. Sure. Transfer. There you go. Confirm. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Great. But we're going to have to focus on that next time because I am all out of time for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And I'll see you next time for some more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and some more space combat goodness because, god damn, I've been loving... I really enjoyed this, and I really like, um, as I mentioned earlier space-based um, strategy games and I gotta say this is probably the first one I've ever played that's turn-based uh, I mean I like that the turns go um, like when you end your turn you and the enemy go simultaneously that's really cool I mean it's a little nerve-wracking because once you place your orders you're just sitting there waiting for that uh, progress bar at the beginning to at the bottom to end before you can do anything else. It's kind of nerve-wracking, because if you see a mistake coming or see that you are getting hit pretty hard or you look like you're about to get rammed, it's like, well, shit, nothing I can do until that timer bar runs out. <laughs> but it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to playing the rest of this. And I hope you guys are looking forward to watching it. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And, if, you know, and I'll see you next time for some more of this space combat goodness.